Hello and welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I am Anime and today we are going to be continuing our playthrough a little bit. We are here at the Task Force 29 headquarters which since our last visit I have looted moderately thoroughly and we're just gonna have a bit of a chat with Peter Serafinovich himself. Is there something I can help you with, Agent? I hear you're on point looking into the gold mask mercs that hit us in Dubai. Any leads yet? C Christ, I know I'm good, Jensen, but I've only been on it for five minutes. A lot could happen in five minutes, McCready. You check with the ME yet? Get anything off the bodies we recovered? Leftovers are on ice at the Oman substation. I've been told they were scrubbed clean as summer whites. No prints, no dental, no nothing. So, in other words, it's no steps forward and two steps back. For now. That's why it's a good thing you disabled the Jin's comms booster in Dubai. Singh's cover with the Jin is still intact. Yay! I'm hoping once he's back in Basra, he can use his network to dig around. Maybe these gold mask jokers will ping locally. Probably another fucking jihad looking to make some noise. I don't know. I'm not so sure we should be looking for these guys in the desert. Awkward pause. Ah, is that so? You have some new information you feel like sharing? Come on, McCready. These guys were augmented with military-grade hardware. Body augmentation goes against Muslim beliefs. They weren't jihadists. We're dealing with something new here. I can see where you're going with this, Jensen. And I'm asking you right now to back off it. It's not your case. Well, if Peter Sarafinovich says it, then... Come on, McCready. We're not a couple of beat cops filling a monthly quota here. This isn't about whose collar it is. It's about getting the people responsible. Full stop. Look, I get what you're saying, but I'm working a $5 investigation on 50 cents worth of shit. I've got speculation to spare, mate. Listen. I know it's I come an interesting off strong. hairline. I've got three ex-wives that'll back that up. But that's just how I'm built. Putting on a show for the new guys isn't going to change what's underneath. I can appreciate that kind of honesty. Good. So when I say I'm impressed with how you handled yourself in Dubai, you can appreciate that I meant it. With that sandstorm giving us colonics, stripping the juice box out the chopper was an inspired choice. But that mission is over, and your involvement in it ends now. Got it? Well then. Yeah, I got it. It was nice talking to you, McCready. No, it wasn't. <laughs> well, let's steal your pistol ammo. Okay then. So, I think what we're going to do at the beginning here is, if you remember from last week, we got a bit of a side mission from... Oh, what was his name? Vatslav. Not Havel. Our Vatslav Holler, I think was his name. Collar. That was it. He said that we could use all of our enhancements. Oh, armory. Might hack this first. Good, nobody's looking. He said that we could use all of our augmentations if we found this thing for him. This thing for him, which is under the control of the mob. So let's see how this goes. Trace program initiated. Access granted. There we go. Okay, let's unlock that. Have a look inside. Yes, 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 yes. Well, if nothing else, can sell all these if don't want them. We're going fairly. Lethal, if memory serves. Okay, how do we get down here? We need to go this way. Anomaly detected. Oh, we're not going to get Trace there in time. Initiated. Let's stop on it. There we Access go. Granted. Okay, got a number of things. I'm not going to worry about reading all of it. I find you can get a bit too sucked into the lore if you're not careful and that's not going to be a particularly fun video because who wants to watch people just reading things 
for a little bit. Can't access that yet. Because I've not been upgrading my hacking skill enough. So let's leave that there. Hey Adam, that and head to... I think we're already in the Chista district, so we just need to find... Did we get anything from the Whisper chip? We got something, but Janus provided the wrong algorithm for the frequencies, so they aren't getting deciphered correctly. Can you fix it? I'm a pilot, not a programmer. I can do it, but it's going to take some time. So we need to go find this Otar Botcavelli fellow in his casino. There's some sort of manhole cover, which is our clue as to where he is. I don't want it. What was the threat? We'll probably able to have a look on the actual map. That's the quest bit. Have I actually? Uh, there we go. No, I need to actually get outside first. I just hey. gave it's a weird thing about the map that you can't just zoom out. Okay, it's there. So we're going this way. Okay, so one more road down. Excuse you, Mr. Civilian. So we're going down here. How's our inventory looking anyway? Got plenty of space. Down here? Yes. And some things to hack. That will be good. Hack that. Ooh. Two things. So let's. Anomaly detected. Ah, this is not good. Trace program. Let's just go straight to the exit. Access granted. So I prefer to hack the actual red nodes because then you get everything there without having to hack it individually. That's all right. Let's throw that whiskey. Is that untractable? Well then. Oh, that was something there. Tactical shotgun. Rye, credit chip, credit chip. Booze, booze. Seems alright. And this one. I can sell this before getting because the tactical shotgun will take up quite a lot of inventory space. Trace program yeah. initiated. Access granted. And we good. So, what's in here? Some files, printer, and some hacking stuff. Use all the stuff that we've. Ooh, a button. Fake wall. Fake wall. Does whatever a fake wall does. Ah, this is a shop. I think it's where we can actually sell stuff. Welcome, welcome. Nice gear you've got here. All high end. And you look like you know high end. Which biotech did your job? Not Isolate. They don't come in black. You try this on all your customers? Just the ones made of carbon fiber. As one enthusiast to another, you can tell me gonna have to disappoint you maybe you can make it up to me you look like the kind of man who might have access to breach software that stuff's illegal come on man don't play around you know why it's illegal you know the world governments don't want us to find out their dirty secrets but we will and you can help us be part of the revolution anyway just think about it all the details are in the computer want to have a look to sell or to buy. Let's do business. Sure. Great. Go ahead. Unfortunately, you end up having that blooming conversation with him every time. Which gets a bit tedious. That. Don't want the revolver stuff. Don't really use shotguns that much, so I'm just going to get rid of the shotgun. We've got a pistol and we got a combat rifle. It's really all we're going to want. And let's just sell all the booze that we have. So 
Sell that, sell that. I mean, could drink a top our health, but we have painkillers for that. Let's go to the gas grenade. That just takes up a bit of space and smoke grenade. Mm, mine template can stay for the moment. Let's get rid of the neuropazine. That. It's just everything we're not going to use. Okay, I think that's everything. We can nearly afford another Praxis kit. That will be good. Stun guns. Is there anything we actually want in here? Yeah. Grenade launcher stuff. We don't have a grenade launcher. And probably not going to ever have a grenade launcher, let's be honest. That's not just a display. They're for sale. Well then. Nothing for me. Don't wait for planned obsolescence. Terror attack. Okay. Now that's done. Let's head down here. Do I have the leg augments yet? Let's find out if I can just drop down. That was the wrong button. There we go. Yeah, that's a crest landing, isn't it? Ah, the jump one. Oh, where is the... I'm back. Yeah, we don't have that yet. So still have to climb down like a chump. So, here we are in the sewers of the Pure District. Deus Ex does like its sewers. So we need to get into this area. Or to crouch. Let's see if we can get in through here. <laughs> Who needs key codes? Head up here. Access granted. Good. Pistol equipped. That's a camera. What have I hotkeyed things to? F1. Okay, there are people there. Camera, people, there's a vent. Let's get there. Or actually, is this vent down there? Pretty much there. Mm -hmm. Just want the energy to recharge a little bit, and then I should be able to rush down there. Actually, stop it. Let's just do it like. That. Where's the actual vent? Up there. Oh, it's there. One way to get your rat. Set tracks. Well, this might be good enough. Let's see where this gets us. Oh. We'll watch for it tonight. Gets us to some hypostim. Doesn't look like there is anyone. Check. <laughs> Here. Good. File box. Locked doors. Let's hack this thing. Granted. There we are. Not entirely sure what that's gotten us. Oh, it gets us upstairs. What do you mean you think you'd make a better capo? This is the book of Alexis. So this family we have a camera there, a couple of people. Of course, but what do you expect? And I think memory serves. The chip we need. 
just up there. That's where the cover exists. Hmm. How does that person move to? Nope. Ooh. I bet this is just going to get me back out to where I was before, but... Or it'll get me into the office. Well, this is useful. Okay. One person over there, one person over there. Just Why? wait for someone to move out the room then, I guess. Exclusivity, anonymity, security. These are the greatest concerns of the digital age. And we at Palisade Property Bank have made yeah, addressing much, those yeah. concerns priority. I'm busy. Information archive <coughs> of Palisade Property Bank is beyond the legal jurisdiction of any government. Yeah. Go ahead. Palisade Bank Corporation is now... Well, I guess I kind of live here now. That's a lot of people. It's heading in? How are they heading in? Only I can be in vents. It's a known law of the universe. Okay, well people seem to be starting to move away. So, time for the next one. <laughs> uh, whoops. Okay, well they've left again. There is a certain amount of in Deus Ex, as in with Hitman, if things do start going wrong you do just hide until they go away, at least if you're me. Let's grab the stuff off that person. Head over here, that person might be coming in. It'd be really nice if these poker chips could be had physics. I don't know if they do. Okay, let's just be a bit more cautious than previously, see if that person comes in. They're waiting outside the door. We are not alone down here. Like we're being played. I mean, yes, two of your people have been killed. Be that to your book. Couldn't it? <laughs> Just kind of waiting there, aren't they? Oh, there we go. What could be going on? Someone could be out there. <laughs> Who's in trouble? Whoops. Well, this could be going better again. Wah! Nah! Wrong buttons! Wrong buttons! Wrong buttons! <laughs> Oh, I'm never usually this panicked. I do tend to go for stealthy runs. But that hasn't really worked out. Neither in this nor in Hitman. It seems like I can't do stealth under the pressure of actual records. So that's fun. But no one wants to see people do things perfectly anyway. So...
Let's just do this the old-fashioned way. If the old-fashioned way involved combat rifles. Oh. That looked like an explosive thing. Okay. <laughs> well, you guys could come in this vent as well. Threat lost. Good. Oh. That's me. Is that really on the floor? Because that's really not where my head... My head is not clipping through the... Well then. Well, let's see if we can actually get the calibrator this time. that say? Oh. Press tab to... No. Nope. Oh, it's holding it. <laughs> I am an idiot. Ah, gas code. Who needs that? What's that? Credit chip. That'll be useful for getting out of here. Okay. I'll get some ammo. Might actually equip that shotgun. Okay. I've now got a little bit paranoid that that person was coming in. Okay, they're going away. Let's see if we can hack this double quick. Plus good. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Okay, should be able to have this. Granted. Unlock. Get out of there. Good. All right, Kohler. Good. I've got, got it. I've got your neuroplasticity calibrator. That's great. I'm going to pencil you in for that optimization procedure. Just as soon as I'm done with this house call. What house call? I got this other client, you know, doesn't like to be kept waiting. Neither do I, Kohler. Call me when you're ready. Well... After that stunning display of stealth, let's leave. Hopefully, no more bloodshed. Oh, oh no, that's where I came in. That's good. Let's hope it stays this calm. <laughs> this calm, eh? Have you been paying attention to the gunfire? Could be rats. I don't know. Over here. Okay. There we go. That's how stealth works. And we're safe. Okay, what are we up to? Climbing a ladder. So I think that's as far as we can progress in that quest line at the moment. But, while we're around, let's sell off the stuff we picked up, and then, I guess... So this was the... I will need to talk to David Sarif about our OGS. In the market for something. You again. You make my merchandise look middle of the line. So, let's sell off this shotgun again, why not? Get rid of the shotgun ammo. Revolver stuff, is that all the stuff we picked up? I think I want to keep most of the rest of this. 
Yeah. Seems about right. That's not just a display. They're for sale. Sure, I'm just giving you more stock. I'm good for now. Don't wait for planned obsolescence. So, I've got the full 10,000. Which means we can afford that Praxis kit. Hammer time! Let's find a train station and head back to our home to talk to Sarah. There's a train station. What the hell? There's a lot of backtracking between locations oh, here. At the metro. Perfect timing. Chang says your private chariot will arrive any time you call up Rizika Station on the map. Chang, you had him hack into Prague's public transit company so I can get to Rizika? Plan A wasn't working. It's amazing that these displays only start working at the exact same time that our conversation finishes. So let's go back to the Capek Fountain Station. Because that's where we live. Okay, so, Eliza Kazan, as you can still see, is around, and pretty much everywhere, although doesn't quite have the fabulous rough that she had last time. I thought we talked to you last time, so stop oh, shouting, you golden. already plot finished NPC what? person. What I have coherence, honest. <laughs> Am I hearing you right? Where do we live? Right, yeah. I think it's here. Yeah, this looks right. Nice. Up market. Flats for a famous police agent. I mean, the building itself is quite nice, it just needs a bit of a, bit of a clean, maybe a fresh coat of paint. Sure. So, about that Praxis kit. Consumable? Yeah. One of those. Was that all? Come on, I can tell you have more credits. Not that much more. I'm good for now. I still have more. <laughs> yes, but it's at an extortionate cost. So let's get that last level of hacking capture so we can capture everything we want. I double checked, I didn't have any. Yeah, no money in here. So, can't get your other Praxis kit now, I'm sorry. I'm not getting enough Praxis kits throughout the game, to be honest. That's not home. One more flight of stairs up. Only the penthouse for Adam Jensen. With. Grey red? Am I just. What, grained? The, with the N underlined, maybe? Why are Austrians writing graffiti in English? Probably best not to think about it. What's going on? I didn't expect to hear from you. I didn't expect my doctor to find dormant augs hidden in my system. What? Dormant experimental augs. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Adam, you know the decisions I made for you two years ago. Yes or no? No! All the work we did on you was above board. You have my word on that. What, uh, what exactly did you find? Experimental test dogs spliced into my system. Kohler said something about a neodymium shell. Who would have designed something like that? God, you've got a Titan dog? It's impossible. It was just a concept. You just said this wasn't you. 
It wasn't. The DOD showed me schematics three years ago and asked me if I thought it could work. It was designed by somebody else, Vadim Orlov. Megan and I interviewed him once, but he wouldn't have fit in. Wouldn't have fit in, eh? Unethical conduct, eh? Orlov? Sounds Russian. Who is he? Why wouldn't he have fit in? He was supposed to be a boy wonder, a neuroscience prodigy. Got his master's degree in Moscow, post-grad in the US. His grades were off the chart, but his theories were uh, sketchy at the times. Megan said his ethics were questionable. Megan? Megan Reed said that? The woman who gave you my DNA to experiment with? We didn't hire him, Adam. Two minutes into the interview and I could tell Orloff didn't like his ideas being challenged by anyone. Least of all, a strong woman like Max. These schematics you saw. Don't suppose you kept a copy? They were classified. I never had a copy. The only reason I even saw them was because the Defense Department valued my opinion. Seraph Industries did good work back in the day. When we signed a schematic, you knew it was solid. Well, I imagine it would be a lot harder to sign something that was gaseous. I've got to find this guy. Adam, let me track him down for you. I'm leaving for London soon, but I can make phone calls, reach out to people. Seraph Industries may be gone, but my name still carries weight in certain circles. Do it. Contact me by info link when you have something. I won't let you down on this. I never felt right about losing touch with you after Panchea. When I heard you'd shown up in Detroit alive a year after everyone thought you were dead, why didn't you get in touch with us? I couldn't. Rescue crews pulled me out of the ocean and dumped me in a clinic in Alaska. Nobody knew who I was. For a long time, neither did I. My God, son, you don't think... I mean, that could have been when... Find Orlov, Seraph. I've got questions I need answered. I will, I promise. I'll call you. So... I think that's... Yeah. Well... Why not? I'd forgotten about this one. With... Mr. Paranoid up at TF29. Let's finish that one as well. Can't be asked to do the points of interest stuff. So, I was a little bit disappointed about, and so are a lot of people from what I hear. Ooh, I wonder. That is the world's hardest ceramic pot. It's also a pretty hardy plant. Yeah, I was a little bit disappointed, as were quite a lot of other people when they first played this about how they handled Panchea. I feel like you could have still had your choices in Panchea Matter. Not necessarily the big final one at the end with the after the Hyron project. But at least if you decided to and spoilers at the end of Human Revolution, but why are you watching a video on the sequel to Human Revolution if Let's see. Yeah, it is in the other sector, I think. Yeah, it's up there. Cool. Why are you watching a video on the sequel to Human Revolution if you care about being spoiled about Human Revolution? Well, you could still have it matter if you saved Sarif or not. I'm thinking... Rude. Something similar in line to how they did it in... And spoilers ahead here for Dragon Age Inquisition. Dragon Age Inquisition! where you could have Alistair or Stroud or whomever else. It was always Stroud for me. Alistair's king. Alistair's always king. Um, show up. Or I think Loghain was also an option there to be the Grey Warden on your side. And just the dialogue gets... We record you have a different face but so it doesn't feel like they just scrapped the entire last level of human revolution and said hey we're playing this level our way and you guys have just got to live with the consequences of the choices that we made 
I mean, I'm well aware that you can't have games be infinitely... You can't have infinite permutations going on and it still be a coherent story, right? Not without a huge amount of effort. But you can at least make your choices feel like they're actually choices. Rather than just some sort of set dressing. I mean, yeah, it's like Eidos Montreal just wrested the, all the narrative choice from you. And that's disappointing. Especially with a game that is so about story. I mean, I was also a little bit disappointed that they didn't, in some way, bring back Farida Malik. Is it Malik or Malik? Okay, I think it was Malik. Um, but she was one of my favourite characters in that game. She was amazing. And I worked very hard to say, oh, where am I actually going? We're up to half on time. It's... I worked very hard to save her. That was a difficult bit of the mission. I think there's some bits of dialogue or maybe emails here that show that she is maybe alive and somewhere. Is this where I want to be? Nope, that's TF29. But that feels like a bit of a cop out, to be honest. Yep, yeah. nope. Uh, the 33 Klubney Apartments is where we want to be. Number 33. That looks especially like the number that we want to find. So what are we actually... After that log. I can never remember the blooming hotkeys. Chang was able to trace the hack to a top floor apartment. So I guess stairs will be helpful for this. This way. Come on in. Weapons for sale. Well then. I don't really have any money, do I? Where's my cash? Another one. Four hundred and eleven. That's not going to buy me anything. I could make some things and then sell them, but yeah, I could make mine templates. Come on. I shall do anyone. And bio cells are the most useful thing to craft given how quickly your energy runs out again I thought that was a bit of a shame they kind of realized in the director's cut of human revolution that they were being a bit stingy by only allowing you one takedown worth of energy to recharge so they let you get two takedowns worth of energy to recharge but then in Mankind Divided, it's back down to one, so if you take someone down, you have to sit around for a little bit and suck your thumbs and hope that nobody attacks you, as we saw earlier when that did not happen. I'm not going to get captured going there. So I guess we should go this way. Anomaly. Ah! Hate this. Trace program initiated. Not the actual hacking bit, I like the hacking bit. Access granted. But just the surprise. Hmm. Find this computer. Sam is done. That was what we were looking for. Head down here. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Ah, how do I get in there? There we go. I could have probably actually gone to the red bit, but... Ah, uh, well, so... Mail... Okay, next issue... It's that moon base stuff... Okay... What's this whole chat thing? Yes, why am I online? 
sewer stand up? Who's robbing a sewer? What is the rush? Is this some form of newspaper or magazine? Well then. So we found a place to go and a key code to get in there. And a whole load of things we can sell. So, the MP grenade. Why is this person have an EMP grenade? Ah, here's a Samus Dart magazine. In 2027, Panchea was humanity's titanic plan to save the world. A 1.5 kilometer deep installation plunging to the bottom of the Arctic Ocean. Built by a 100% augmented workforce, that could never go wrong. It was our hopeful answer to climate change. Until it mysteriously blew up the day the orgs went crazy. Yes, it's convenient and clear what happened to Panchea. I feel like that is somewhat lampshading. <laughs> the, design the design decisions going on here, but... Regardless. I mean, yeah, it is a cop-out, but it's not the worst thing to happen. Wait, is there anything in here? Let's look. Yeah. Fence. Again, I don't understand why they have those, those destructible bits in the vents. But, I guess sometimes we don't understand that goes back into the weapon shop and that's a bad idea for a place to go right now. Because they will start shooting at me and I I don't like being an improvised colander. Well, that's not practical refrigeration. Look at all this food left out, put that in there. All your regular stuff. Why is... Why are all their appliances facing the wall? I don't understand. Stealth software. Chang, I think I have something on our secret admirer. A group called Samus Dad. Mean anything to you? You mean those conspiracy nuts? Very bad for business. How much do they know? Not sure. Good news is I got an exact location. Find out whatever you can. What they know, what they want. If they blow the task force's cover, it's only a matter of time before someone blows up the task force. Don't worry, Chang. I don't want the walls coming down just yet. Yes, yeah, so we need to find a manhole cover. Uh, that's the main objective. Where are we going to? Okay. All the way down to the southeast. There. So this way. Even though the hub world is, the hub world, the hub city, is quite small, it does feel well realised. It is all, it has a very strong sense of familiarity, and is packed with. It doesn't feel like anything is particularly copy pasted around. Every single bit feels unique, even if it isn't. You're not just getting lost in various corners of an unfamiliar city. Which is not necessarily the easiest to do, particularly when not everything is not everything's an interesting building match, not everything has a purpose. So you've got, you know, a building which has some sort of purpose here. I can't translate Chern Slati. But presumably it means something, but you've got some residential-like buildings around, but it all feels different. Which for me is at least moderately impressive. Well, that was awkward. I think that's the manhole cover we want. Yes. 
I don't usually blurt out my political views to people on the streets, but, but when I do, what they are doing to you, Augs, it is horrible. Why, well, thank you. I can't say that I agree with the methods Arg is using to fight back, but I cannot say that I wouldn't do the same. Hello. I can't say that I agree with the methods. Well, Arg you're just repeating back what you said. But I cannot say that I wouldn't do the same. Well, that was nice. This is no way to live. Okay, where are we going to? Hmm. No indicator. Not that one. Okay. There we go. Daphne District. Yeah, I think it was just that the mental wasn't on the map. Nope. Well. This seems relatively really something close. Let's try going this way first. Ooh, that looks like gas. This might not have been the most sensible place to go to. Well, I'm certainly not jumping down into there. Okay, I don't think this is the way to go. Try going in the opposite direction. I do wish a little bit also that... So yeah, you don't have any... Objective markers on the minimap, but you have them on the actual map. And even in that case... Or even if you got rid of them... Quite a lot of the instructions are... Quite vague. There we go. This looks right. I remember this. I think. Going to go across here. I think this is the right direction. Oh. Maybe it wasn't the right direction. These look like more people than I was expecting. Maybe the other side. Ah. There we go. So there's nothing up over there, so let's head down here. This was not how I remember getting in before. Don't shoot. Shit. We're journalists. Who invited the agent type? Who are you? What do you want? Why are you here? You, you here because of the Dubai story? The article about the moon base? The, the, the clones? The, the clones on the moon base? Who, who sent you? I'm here for Sam as dad. The clones of the moon base sent me. I take charge, but I'm not in charge, man. No one owns or detects the truth. Freedom of information is a collective right, man, and a, and a collective responsibility. That said, you gonna break someone's nose? You break my nose. Well, it looks like it's been somewhat broken already. I didn't come here to break anything. I just need you to cooperate. I spent my 20s in a commune, man. I'm all about cooperation. Good. It's about something you've been looking into. It's making some people nervous. What do you know about Praha Dovos? Oh, that little import company? I know there's more than boxes in the basement. We've seen agent types come in and out. The place is a curtain. The first in a series of men. Pull them all back and you'll find... them. Tell me I'm wrong. It's a dead end. Right. Guys like you always come down here because of dead ends. Fine. Then what if it's something other people are already looking into? If someone like you makes too much noise, that may compromise any chance they have of uncovering something bigger. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm supposed to believe we're colleagues now? Two men in black types, you walk into Pike's newsroom, tell them to be hush-hush about something, and they do it. But that's not how it works here. 
One day, you will all be exposed. If not by me, then someone just like me. Sam is that isn't one voice. K isn't one man. Well, no, it's Tommy Lee Jones. What did you mean when you said K wasn't one man? K is an ideal, the intangible leader of tangible resistance. You can kill me, but then little K would become K. Kill little K and, and Bones over there becomes K. That's, there's always a K. And what if you kill Bones? <laughs> you can't kill Bones, man. Bones isn't real. I think he was one of them. He was That's supposed some to weird lighting. Friend, but then he broke his condition. We found him inside this fucking cult, all confused, so we reprogrammed him with the truth. Right. Suppose I needed to make a deal with Sam's dad. There's no one person I can talk to? Depends on the deal. I mean, there's always going to be an editor. The editor makes the final call on all published material. That would be me. So you could ensure that something doesn't get talked about? Depends on the deal. How about... You don't print the story about Pirata Divos, and... I don't burn you with my eye lasers. What exactly do you do down here? Sammy's death is a media uprising. While Pikes panders to corporate tyranny and government bullshit, we pump out the truth. We uncover it, we write it, we publish it. We get our noses broke for it. So you print pamphlets? Well, we do a lot more than that. We got ways of getting into Pikes media network. That's how we disseminate information. Information you get by hacking into places you shouldn't. The truth is buried. If digging it up means skirting a few rules, so be it. Skirting rules? I've never done that. I need you to stop looking into Prahadovos. But not for the reason you assume. Well, relax, I get it. You don't think I do, but I do. You've got to work easy old military industrial masters. All be in there, man. I'm not who you think I am. The kinds of people who manipulate the news, who cover things up. You don't need to convince me that's who the enemy is. The enemy is anyone who conceals the truth. And that's exactly what you're asking me to do. To pretend like that little import company isn't hiding something. I'm asking you to see a difference between conspiracy and discretion. Between people who hide information in order to push their own agendas and those who need to stay off the radar in order to do their jobs. You of all people should understand. Okay. Okay, look. You seem like a reasonable guy. Huh? Hell, I've usually been punched by now. I find this refreshing. Here's the deal. We promise to forget all about Praha Dovos and stay out of your way as long as you give us something better. What do you suggest? The only thing I hate more than secret organizations are toothless media conglomerates who don't hold anyone accountable, who spit lie after lie after lie. So I propose a trade. There are places my people can't get into. You get into one of those places and find me some dirt on the real enemy. Pikes media. Do that and I'll cut whatever you want me to cut. Who Your face! Sure, that seems reasonable. Alright, what do you want to know about Pikes? I want skeletons! The kind that companies like Pikes come all the way to Prague just to bury. Corporate archiving, man. Corporate archiving, huh? You asking me to break into a bank? I'm not talking vaults here. Ashani Talbot, the Palisade CEO. She leverages her clients, keeps information about them close at hand. She's got something on Pikes, I know it. I just can't get to it, but I bet you could. You poke into her office, find something that proves how nasty Pikes is, how much they love to piss on the truth, and I promise you this, I'll misplace any file you want. I'll look into it. In the meantime, don't publish anything until I get back. Don't worry. Oh, and oh, while you're there, feel free to snoop around. Who knows what else you might find. We'll see. Okay, so let's just quickly. That's not how many practices. Ah, I've got to. I want to get the strong arms. I won't be able to pick things up. Ooh, that only takes one. Do I want that? Or do I want the. I should probably get the landing first. I think I'm going to save that up until next time. I've done about 
55 minutes an hour. So I might end it here. We're gonna go to the Palisade Bank next time and we're probably going to go to the Rizika Station area to do whatever Miller wanted us to do. So, in the meanwhile, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. That will allow me to produce more of these videos. I should have another one up for this every week. And in the meanwhile, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Goodbye.